Lady, what is wrong with you? You nearly hit my car. That's the plan, you stinking idiot. Listen, I don't want to know what you're doing with your boss. But whatever it is, end it. Cut it off. Because if you don't, you will not leave to enjoy the fullness of it. And who are you? I am Kaka, your boss's fiancé. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, if I see you anywhere around Leonard again, I'll put a bullet through your stinking ass. Keep a deaf ear and see the results. Don't say I didn't want you. Let's just go inside. Okay. Just calm down. Take it easy. Hmm. That girl. That idiot. She will know the stuff I am made of if she does not keep her distance from my mind. She, she doesn't know what's going on. Ah ah. Kaka, you're back. No, I'm still there. I'm not back. Since you're blind, you can't see me standing here that I'm back. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What's up with you, Lily? I'm fine. Hmm. Hmm. The sophisticated Kaka baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you're not looking bad. What's up with you? Sophisticated cat. What do you want? Because your Haley comes with demand. What do you want? Nothing, nothing. I mean, I'm just grateful to God for giving me a sister like you. Hmm? <laughs> Sophia, how are you doing? I'm fine, Philip. I'm fine. It's just that your friend here has refused to settle me as we agreed. My friend, just shut up and, and eat your food. You're reasonable for once. Really? So now I'm being unreasonable. But you know I'm saying the truth. Wait, what settlement are you guys talking about? Thank you, Sophia. God bless you. I told my sister here that I want to travel abroad, but she has refused to settle me. And I don't know what's the problem. Sophia, mm -hmm. ask my brother here how many times he has been to the American Embassy for interview. He has been there many times. He didn't work out. How am I supposed to be blamed? Mm, mm, mm. 
Sister, you should understand, failure is part of success. I can always apply again. I, I, I can always apply. Look at your mouth. You can always apply. Like say I they pluck money for tree. Or oh, this my human hair na, na money full of I can't cut her now. Come and cut it. Philip. I can always apply. Philip, don't worry. You will get it when the time is right. She will give you the money. Don't worry. <laughs> that is the problem, Sophia. He does not believe when the time is right. No. He won't na 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 today today as it hurts. One thing I know for sure is by this time next year, I will be in America, big sister. Amen. You know what? I have bigger things to think about. Please, I don't even need to think. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I have told you to stay away from my workers. But I don't have any skeleton in my cupboard. There is nothing to talk about later. How are you doing? I asked the question, how are you doing? Why? Well, the thing is I have been very busy. You know me when I have a whole lot of life on my sleeve, I, I find it difficult to multitask. You know? Um, maybe by the weekend. That'll be fine. Love you too. Bye. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my morning star. You just coming? Yes. Your mistress obstructed my movement this morning. My mistress? Who is she to you? Tell me, please do not lie to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Kaka is what I'm talking about. That's her name. Oh, Kaka. Yeah, Kaka is my friend. Fiancé, not your friend. Was that what she told you? Leonard, are you cheating on me? Look me in the eyes and answer me. Are you? No, I'm not. Just go back to your office. We'll, we'll talk about it much later. Yes, boss. Bella doing this to me. Does she want the company to deduct all my money? What did she do? My sister, that I did not come back on time after break yesterday. I just got the notification that I have been booked. That serves you right. Jude, can you be reasonable for once? Hey, am I not reasonable? No, you are not. Stupid man. Continue. Why did she do that? I wouldn't know. <laughs> this guy is such a clown.
She knows what she did. That's why she's not taking her cogs. No one's hard to mind your business. Gina, Bella's reasons are best known to her. And besides, why is everyone so concerned about this? So let's do her job. What exactly is the color of your problem? Why are you adding salt to injury? Jude, don't mind the useless idiot. You can go ahead and share your mouth order. Or call me whatsoever you want. Well, let me tell you, I like the innocent girl to do her job. Because you that I know, if I have position, you will do worse. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, sister, welcome. Your phone is ringing. Your phone? Oh. Hello, sweetheart. What did you tell her? Well, I stopped her on the road like I told you. And why did you do that? <laughs> why ask? I mean, I told you that I was going to do it. Didn't I tell you not to do that? Come on, sweetheart, calm down. Don't call me that. I told you not to do that. I told you to mind your business, but you went contrary to my instructions. That's because I love you. I love you and I, I, I wouldn't want any woman to take my place in your heart. To take my position. I love you. Oh, please. Don't tell me that. The next time you try this, just consider this relationship ended. Wait, wait. Is that a threat? You, are you threatening me? I mean every bit of my words. Is everything okay? Becky, this is for you from the management. What is that? Query, of course. My God. Why would Bella go this far? Jenna, it seems you are not feeling okay. Is that not part of her job? You are the one that is insane. You are mad. What if it's her job? So? Have we not been doing this for each other? No, tell me. Have you never gone for break and not returned to the office in time? Um, Bella might have reasons for doing that. I know her too well. Oh, yes. She has reasons for doing it. But you know what? I don't care. Whatever her reason is, I do not care. She can go to hell and burn. Nonsense. And let me remind all of you in this office, there will be no sentiment for anyone else fault. I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Very soon, you will understand. I don't really know what you're talking about. Well, now let me advise you. You better go and settle your differences with Bella and not use it on innocent people like me. Jude, I will advise you keep quiet when men are talking. Because you have to have something reasonable to say. If you were in her shoes, you would do worse. Ah, buyer. Ah, Monique. Monique. Becky, what's up? 
I'm fine. You don't look okay. What is it? You're fine. It is written all over you. Tell me, what is it? Becky, I'm okay. Did our MD upset you? Becky, I said I'm fine. Okay. If you say so. Here. Bella is you me this. Are you aware of it? What is this? Not at all. Meet me in my office at once. How come? I'm as confused as you are. Good morning. You sent for me. What is the meaning of this nonsense? This is not rubbish. This is a query issued to Becky here. And why is that? Why are you asking me why is that? Am I the one that issued the query? Money, please. I am only but a messenger here. Do you understand? Bella, you are nothing but a cheap liar. You lie too much. I beg your pardon? Hey, Bella. Who recorded this? It wasn't me. What if I find out? What is your problem, Monique? Why are you taking things personal when it comes to me? Because you are taking laws into your hands. Young lady, what is wrong with you? How can you submit this to the managing director without it going through due process? Bella, let me remind you. I am the supervisor of this company. You should accord me my respect. Nobody is disputing that with you. Obviously you are. I am not taking your position, Monique, if that's your fears. Listen. It's not my fault. I was working over time and the MD met me, asked for the document. What would I have done? So I would have disobeyed him. I would tell him, okay, no, 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 I don't want to give you the document. Is that what you want me to say? <sighs> Liar. Monique, she purposely did not want to wait for you. And don't say the MD requested for the document. And even if the MD requested for the document, what has that got to do with my lateness, Bella? You know what, Becky? <laughs> I don't have a single apology for you. See, tell anyone I don't. Because you know why? I know they see you, babe. I know they see you. <laughs> Bella, I don't care. You can go to hell for all I care. I still do not care. Um, please, Monique, if there's nothing said here anymore, can I leave? Can I leave? Excuse me. Um, Becky, please sit. Becky, please sit. Look, do not bother yourself about this, all right? I will meet the MD, talk to him. We will sort it out. Trust me. It's a promise. Mom, meet my new baby. <laughs> he will not my main man. Your new what? Our new baby. Leonard, you mean you left all the cars in this compound? Take a look at them. And went and bought this thing. Mom, I don't understand. Take a look at all the cars in this compound. Is there a Prado? Of course, every family needs a Prado. Wait, wait. Excuse you? Like, are you kidding me? Wait, is something wrong with you? Because I can't place your sick. And I want to ask you a question. Is this how you want to manage the company our late father suffered to build? I'm asking you a question. Answer me. I don't know your problem. So getting a Prado is squandering money. Of course, we need a Hilux, and I only got a Prado. Every family needs at least a Prado and a Hilux. That means you plan to get another one. Well, not now. I just got a Prado. Maxwell, <laughs> leave my house. Why? Huh? 
a red one. You will leave in my house because you are corrupting my son. In fact, you're a bad influence on Leonard. Come on, please. Oh, don't even go there. If you're talking about who is corrupting who, then it's me. I am the one corrupting Maxwell. No, no, no. I really, don't care. Okay, please. Hey! I have to take my Leave! Time. Mom, what, 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 what's the meaning of this? Now? Why would you ask my friend Pretender. to leave? Pretender. Look at the way he's behaving as if he cares. If you know where you got this car from, that car lot where you got this car from, take it back there. Idiot. Mom, mom, you know this is an insult. He right? doesn't own this house with me. Mom, you know this is an insult. Telling my friend to leave is an insult to me. You know that, right? <laughs> Maxwell. Do you know you are, you are so unbelievable? Maxwell. God. Nonsense. When we buy a that's the only problem you have with the school. Mm. Very funny. Can you imagine? See, I don't understand. Every family needs a product. And he locks. Mm. You're selling cars. Mm. This is a car lot. I can't now understand. Let me talk to your son. This is your son. Talk to me. Mom, I really don't know why we're taking this thing so serious. It's just a car. It's a car. Let's celebrate as a family. Do not open that. Because we are not celebrating anything. Take it back. Mom, you're pushing me. Shut up, please. Shut that hole you call a mouth. Shut up. What is it? Lena, just do as mommy said. Drop that wine. There is no cause for celebration. Leonard, if you know where you got that car from, take it back and ask for a refund. Why? You're asking me that. I won't repeat myself again. Rubbish. The car is the least of your problem. Give me where let me pass. Rubbish. Mom, can you please take a chill pill and try not to be up in the heel? It's just a Prado. Your mates are getting married. Raising children, having their own family. All you do is to litter cars everywhere. And then do over a company to run. It's a Prado. That is the company you're running, right? Continue. At the time of reckoning, I'll ask you. You know, you know something? It is so glaring that you cannot manage that company. It is. Well, I'm not disappointed. Silence is the best answer for food. <laughs> we are 40. Food is still a fat as Uh-huh. You know, I can't even have you insult me. You just insulted yourself. Goat. What is the matter? Leonard is taking me for granted. How? What happened again? You remember the excuse he gave me when I asked him to get me a Benz? Yes, he said his company was going through some financial problems. Exactly. Now, the same person that his company is going through some financial problems just got himself a very cute luxury car. It's a lie. Babes, please. He called me a few minutes ago to tell me about it. I mean, who does that? Wow, this is good news. I I'm, I'm so happy for you. It means the, the problem his company was going through has been rectified. Apparently. But I need my own car. I need my own car. I need a Benz. <laughs> you need a Benz? Okay, so tell me, where are we celebrating your boyfriend's luxury car? Are you listening to me? You, we, I mean, we are supposed to be celebrating together, like my Benz, his car, you know, like a full-blown party, like twinning together. It's, it's, it's more fun that way. <laughs> See, when you're ready for us to go for the party, please let me know. I need to drink, oh. Ha. You want to be swimming with him? Remind me where we are friends again. Mm. <laughs>
Okay, that's serious. <laughs> Friday you established in the company. Is that too much to ask? Well, it's not too much to ask. You would have just told me to have a seat while I explain how I run the company. Oh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. You can equally sit and explain it to oh, me. I'm sorry, that would never happen. Excuse me, who they don't think What is wrong with you? You talk to our mother in such tune. Are you mad? Who are you speaking to in such manner? No, it hasn't got into that. Well, you see, I've been trying to condole your excesses ever since you came back from abroad. But right now, I've had it up here. You really need to mind the way you talk to me. On the real sense, you have to be mindful how you speak to me. Well, thank God it's Friday. It's, it's a get-together party organized for my workers. Are you okay now? Just that? Oh yes, just that. If you step an inch, if you move, I'll make you understand that I'm not your mate. I'm your elder sister. Are you mad? Who the hell do you think you are? Is something wrong with you? I'm asking you, who do you think you are? Because we allow you to do nonsense. We give you you do rubbish and we keep quiet. Are you mad? Eh? Mom asked you a simple question. Explain to us what is your stupid, thank God it's Friday, is, and that's You're just saying gibberish. Are you mad? <laughs> okay. Calm down, bro. I understand your problem, okay? I understand that um, all this is coming from being frustrated. You're just frustrated because no man has ever said hello to you. Are you stupid? No! No! Come no. leave me! Are you mad? Why? You shouldn't do that! What did you just do? It's okay. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. I slapped you. It's and if you're not careful, I will slap you more! I said it's fine. It's okay. Just go to wherever you wanted to go. When you come back, we settle all this amicably. For me, 
Do it for me. Do it for me. I am begging you. Please, my son. Who wants to respect your mom? What is wrong with you? Mom! How dare you raise your hands against your own brother? Your <laughs> younger brother, you should be petting and talking to reasonably. No, I will breastfeed him. I will spoon feed him. Younger brother indeed. So rude and stupid. Mom, you are aiding this boy. You are corrupting this boy. You are spoiling this boy, mom. And uh, this is not funny. And you know it's right. I am not corrupting him. Neither am I spoiling him. Did I spoil you? I or did I corrupt you? I refuse to be corrupt. I refuse to be spoiled. This is not funny, mom. You refuse to be corrupt. Yes, I refuse to be Mom, continue. You're not continue yourself. yourself. You're continue, continue yourself. Continue. continue. I'm here. You're not indulging yourself. Mom, I'm here. Continue. It's fine. What nonsense is that? You raise your hand and slap your brother. He was, he's he's rude. rude. He's, he's sick. sick. He, he wasn't talking to you. He was talking to me. Well, okay, so it, 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 it can speak to you anyway you want, right? Yes. Oh, really? That's why you're speaking. Well done, Mom. That's why you're speaking. Well done, Mom. It's fine. If you say your mother, will you raise your hand and slap him like that? Welcome. Thank you, my love. Where is my daughter? She's sleeping inside. Okay. This one you are well dressed. Where are you going to? Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday? Yes. I, I thought we you discussed... You thought what, gentle? That I shouldn't go out with my colleagues because I am married to you? No, Regina. I, I didn't say you shouldn't go out with your colleagues. What I'm saying here is this. Those colleagues of yours, they are unmarried women. You are a married, decent woman. You shouldn't hang out with women like that. Gentle. Please. I don't want to be hurt by you tonight. Because I am going out there to have fun. Please. Okay. What about dinner? I'm hungry. Did you make anything? Is it that you're not hearing me or you are practically ignoring me? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? A man who claims to be the head of the family is standing right before his wife asking for dinner. Are you not just coming back from work? Tell me, what stopped you from getting food items on your way back home? I'm sorry, my, my boss got spoiled. I didn't carry one passenger. This morning, I didn't do anything. I've been the mechanic. Same excuse every day. Your boss always develop faults. Are you the only bus driver out there? Or are you cursed? Huh? I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. You are being this lazy because you have a slave at home whom you believe we keep food for you and your daughter every day. Regina. Are you indirectly mocking me of my conditions? Because what I'm hearing right now, I don't understand it. Did you say indirectly? Yes. Oh, no, sweetheart. I am telling you to your face that you have failed as a man. Rubbish. But I just told you that my, my, my boss got spoiled and I blew the mechanics this morning. Mr. Gentle Onwebu, if you like, take care of your daughter.
Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Hi. Hi. Hey. Janet. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? You're welcome. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Ah, Janet, you really need to slow down your things you consume. You are getting fat. Okay. <laughs> oh, so where's your sister? Oh, she's inside. She's getting ready. Okay, get her for me. Sure. <laughs> okay, people. I am ready. Because who the check? Oh my god! Yeah, look at me now. Now me the check her! Look at me! Now me the check her! Yeah, not classy. I'm not done. I can't say that. You know again. now. Girl, you are looking so gorgeous. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Janet, of course you know. I'm heading out for the party. Right now. Thank God it's Friday. Uh -huh. I am not missing it as usual. So please take care of the house. And yourself, because you are very important to me. I will. You know what? I have no doubt that you're going to steal the show to me. Baby girl, the show is stolen already. Ah, you are stealing the show to me now. Oh my God. Oh, me. It's the bossy. show is stolen. It's bouncing. <laughs> Let's hit the road. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, sis. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh. Hello, sweetheart. Is she gone? Okay. But what? So what are you saying? Oh, come on, that's not the problem now. Huh? I will drop you off. Okay, all right, now I'll see you soon. All right? I'm coming to pick you. Okay, see you soon. Take care of yourself.
Yes, hello. Good evening. Yes, I've settled in already. Yes, I actually called you earlier, but your number wasn't reachable. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Good night. Are you enjoying the food? Yes, this is nice. Good for you. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? I'm fine, mommy. Where have you been since yesterday? Oh, my love. Someone missed mommy so much. Sweetheart, mommy was on night shift, so I went to work. But you're not on your office where? <sighs> Something came up at the office. And we were asked to dress like this to work. Don't worry, mommy will not leave you like this again. Okay? I'm sorry. I missed you. I missed you too, mommy. Go and enjoy your pap. Okay. Dad. Yes? Mom didn't greet you. Oh no, she did. We greeted each other before she came in. Okay, just enjoy your food. Okay. You called yourself a wife. You left your matrimonial home since yesterday, and this is the time you're coming. Since yesterday. <laughs> Regina. Regina. This thing you are doing, is it fair? Is it fair, Regina? Regina, I'm talking to you. This thing you are doing, is it fair? Gentle, please. As you can see, I am exhausted. Mm. I had a very hectic night. And I want to sleep. Please. Why won't you be exhausted? <laughs> You had a very hectic night. You want to sleep. 
Want to sleep, right? Yes. Okay. Just go. I please shut the door behind you. I will. Sleep very well. Hope you heard what your daughter told you. The question she asked you. Gentle, be cool. Let me sleep. No problem. No problem. Please. The end shall tell. I'm fine. How was your night? My night was good. Okay. Breakfast is ready. Okay, I'll be at the dining in a jiffy. Okay, I'm waiting. for so long. I'm here now. That's the most important thing. Okay. I called you out here for three things. One. Number one is this fan god is Friday. I want to know where it benefits the company. Number two. I want you to give me a comprehensive annual report of the company and its financial strength from the day your father died till date. Number three, from now till December, I want you to present to me a woman of your choice whom you want to settle down with. With this, I am done for now. Where is this coming from? From me, to you. Why? I don't understand. So I don't have right to know all these things I outlined to you. Well, of course you, you have the right. I just want to know if someone, um, you know, told you to ask me all of this because I know what some people are capable of doing. Like a baby I am, right? Well, that, that's okay. Um, Presenting the woman I want to marry. Of course, I'm working on that already. And um, before the year runs out, by his grace, I will. I'll have a wife. Okay, and then I ask you, what happens to the rest? I wasn't talking to you. Mind your business. Everything in this house, including you, is my business. The high time you understood that you're a woman, the better for you. And what do you mean by that? Of course, she's a woman. But I put her mouth where it belongs. I know where I belong, my dear brother. But please, just answer the questions mommy asked you. The high time you understood that you're a woman, the better for you. Because she's a woman, she should mind her business. Mind what you say. Leonard. Let's go to the business of the day. Leonard. Since the establishment of Leo merchandise, I never heard from your father the word, thank God is Friday, till he died. You created it. So you should be able to tell me where it benefits the company. Thank God is Friday. It is what it is. It's thank God is Friday, of course. It's it's a get-together organized for, for the company. Yes, for the company workers. Really? Yes. Okay. Since it does not benefit the company in any way, henceforth, it should be scrapped. How can you sit down here and know it doesn't benefit the company from anywhere? Okay, fine. If it does, kindly state to us what the significance is. Will you shut your gob? Don't you ever in your life, ask me to shut up again. Don't do it. And if I do? <laughs> you know, 
Of course you do, you know. You know the day you raised your hand on my face was a mistake. If the devil wants to punish you again, dare it. Just try raise your hand again next time, in this house or anywhere. No, try and try, just do it next time and you see how your life will end. God knows I'm saying it in, 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 in mom's presence. Just dare do it next time. See, you don't have respect for yourself. You don't have respect for yourself. Okay. I guess we are done with this meeting. I'm, I'm out of here. Sit down. Mom, please. I have things doing upstairs. I need to finish that up. Please. I can't sit down here for this. Can you sit down and stop being rude? Sit down. Candy, it's okay. No, mommy. Ask him to sit down. You cannot walk out on us. Who the hell are you? Sit down. Sit down. Leo, sit. Sit down. You're not done talking. Better. Leo, this, thank God, is Friday. It's no other thing apart from an avenue for you people to squander the money your father toiled so hard to make. If you cannot handle that company, you will force me to bring experts that will handle it for me. It would do no such thing, Mom. <laughs> News flash. Be ready. It's either you do what she asks you to do, or you face demotion. So you choose. If you don't want me to do that, I want you to write a comprehensive annual report from the day your father died till this date, till today, this minute. And if you don't do that, that will be to your detriment. Period. Excuse me. Simple. Thank you. I find out. Mm. Huh? I did. I bet no, no, no finish up. No finish up, no finish up. Calm down. Do they prepare you for baggage? Just what did they happen? Ah, what did they happen? Since morning, I saw you take day. See where I do day, they look me, they look me. Say, I, I don't go trip. What did you know how many people I don't go? That the photo and I believe I don't go. What did they happen? What did they happen? I know, I know, I know, I know they okay. No, they okay. No, they fine. You go collect with your wife again. No, brother. My wife, oh. my wife, they use me like say I be rag. Don't want to drag me for everywhere. I go close with my, my boss, finish the evening. To go house, I go the fear. Because I say this has the one problem or the other. Mm. I don't tell for that woman. Eh. See, man, I just tell you. Just keep it you see, eh? If this marriage, wait, see so. If you know they're good for your body again, if you know they work again, Wait before you die. You see the homie money. I know one story. I know, if I know. this marriage is no good, you wait. But the team say, I will quit marriage when I get my daughter. I will take quit. Ah. She don't go for me. She will get my daughter. Okay. Now I ask you again. If you die now, uh -huh. you go know where you are not afraid. No, I don't know where you are. You don't go know. See, I can tell you. You see this woman, what you do here is, if you die at this now, eh? this is your woman, where you do here, they drink, this is they do, they do this, what they do. They open her leg for all these baby men, all the whole, see all these men, all these guy man, they all these men waiting for speech. You know how you be? She go open leg for, you know, him? she could just open leg, everybody they go, even they do and pass one way they do before self. She don't even send you, she don't even say they exist. See, you see this life here, now by her though, as you die alive, you're so your own day. If you die, you die alone. You don't say they hold me money. You don't say they hold me money. Now you come there here, you think about woman. Because it's full everywhere, everybody just the hustle. You go there say you take your They join this in the car. Me go also me go in there take your. If you no good, you quit. Not by force. Not by force. Hello.
Good day, Jude. Where did you sleep after the party? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Is that why you called me here? I just asked a question. Where did you sleep after the party? As what? My husband or my boyfriend? No, I want to get something right. No, let me understand something. What is your position in my life to attract such questions from you? I just asked a simple question. They could not answer it because you are guilty. <laughs> guilty? Guilty of what exactly? You slept with that guy. For real? <laughs> and what is your business? What is your concern with who I sleep with? Becky. Are you that cheap? Should mind your utterances. And don't you ever call my number again because of this stupid question. Nonsense. Don't try it again. Hey! Make yourself comfortable. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, back to what I was asking you a few days ago on the phone. What business do you have with that slot in your office? Can you stop with calling her names? That girl is a degree holder. And also my accountant in my company. You don't have to call her names. So, is she your girlfriend or your sex mate? She's my worker, not my sex mate or anything. Of course, you're not going to say yes. You will not admit, but believe me, I am going to fish everything out. Yes. Look, I've told you to stay away from my business, right? Hell no, I won't. I will not lose you to another woman. But you're not losing me. Okay. I want you to do me a favor. Sack that girl. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Please, uh, this is not open for negotiation, yeah? If you don't sack her, I will. Oh, don't, don't, don't even say that. I have told you to stay away from my business. How can you tell me to sack someone who has contributed immensely to the growth of that company? I don't freaking care. Like I said before, it's either you sack her or I'll do so myself. No, you don't do that. Can you just stay off my business for crying out loud? Stay off my business! What about my car? I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> the same thing you said the other time. I'm working on it. But recently, you bought yourself a luxury car worth millions of naira. Who are you dribbling? Well, I have paid for that car a long time ago. I've only been waiting for the shipment. Okay? Yours will be delivered soon. Anyway, do what I asked you to do in your office. If you want peace to reign in this relationship. No, no, if you want peace to reign, stay off my business. Yes. Glad it's okay, Kay. Yes, sir. Do you have any working experience? No, sir. This is my first company I'm applying after graduation. Okay, it's fine. Um, 
We have your file, so we will call you back if we have anything for you. Okay. Thank All you, right. sir. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Arista, ever since my husband died, they threw me out of the house immediately after his burial. They collected everything. They collected every single thing I had. They pushed me out, stripped me off of everything. The worst of it all is that these people have denied me access to see my son. My own son. Just calm down, please. Take a deep breath and stop crying, okay? I want to ask you some questions. Okay. Your late husband, were you guys married legally? Yes, he paid my bride's price, and we had our traditional marriage. Okay, were you guys wedded? Yes, we had a beautiful wedding. As I'm speaking to you now, some of the gifts have been seized by his brother. Do you have your wedding certificate with you? Yes, I do. It's intact. Even though he has tried all possible means to take it away from me. Oh, I think we have a good news here. Don't worry yourself. You have no case, Nami. Yes. They will return everything they took from you, including your son. That's a promise I'm making to you. Don't worry. I will file a suit against them. And then we'll take up the case from there. Is that okay? Yes, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Please, I want you to cheer up. Stop crying. Everything will be fine. Thank you very much, Barista. I'm indebted to you. It's nothing. It's okay. Just stop crying, please. Thank you. You are coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please sit. Thank you. Chelsea Oshobo. Yes, sir. Mm. So you have a first class? Yes, sir. I actually graduated on the 1st of August 2022 from the University of Enugu State Science and Technology, ISUTEC. Impressive. Thank you, sir. Well, um, it looks like we've seen what we're looking for. So, um, congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right, so we'll give you a call next week. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
from the look on this face, the interview went well. Right? <laughs> of course, and I'm so excited about it. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, when are you starting work? As soon as possible. See you then. Okay, bye. Um, sorry, what's your name? I'm Monique. I'm Chelsea. All right, Chelsea, bye. All right, Monique. Thank you. Um, you can sit. Thank you. Um, first off, I want to appreciate you all for your immense contribution towards the progress of our company. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you all for your contribution towards you know, making our company to get to the zone where it is today. I cannot talk about the progress of this company without appreciating your hard works. That's actually a, a big force to reckon with. So today, I want to say thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So right here is our new worker. Her name is Miss Chelsea Oshobo. You're welcome, Miss Chelsea. Welcome, Chelsea. Welcome, Chelsea. Thank you. Like the MD just said, my name is Miss Chelsea Oshobo. I'm from Delta State. I am so happy to be part of this great company, and I look forward to having a good working relationship with you guys. You're welcome. You're welcome to the company. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Another force. This from last month? Yes, sir. Hey, babe. What are you doing here? What is she doing here? Hey, what are you doing here? What are you? Is this your office? I've already taken your smelling body out of this office this minute. Have you lost it? Lost what? What are you? Is this your office? What is wrong with you? What? Are she still looking at me? Friend. Oh, hey, can you stop that, Kaka? I will not stop it. What is she doing here? What business do you have in this office? Go to your office! Yes, I actually collected it today. Yes. Okay, maybe tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey, Becky. Is that our MD's girlfriend? <laughs> girlfriend? Our boss is all weather. That one that doesn't like to eat one soup. Really? You know, I hate the saying that men don't eat one soup. It's as if we're giving them the right to cheat. Well, that's what it means. Yeah. The cocoa now is Monique is in MD's office. Are you serious? Hey, wait for me, wait for me. Tell her to leave, why? Yo, that's it, you're still standing looking at me. Get out! Hey, hey, Get out! don't do that. Get out! Can you stop this minute? I will not stop it. I'm here to see my boyfriend, to be with my boyfriend, so I need some privacy. Tell her to get out. Did you need what privacy? Yes, of course, baby, I'm here. Chief, why are you looking at him like that? Why are you looking? What is wrong with you? Get out! Take your smelling body out of this house. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Get out! Get out! Goodness! And take this nonsense. What is your problem? Why would you come to my office to cause nuisance? Baby, what? Baby, are you talking to me like that because of that thing? Because of that smelling thing? 
Haven't I warned you to stay off my business? Hell no, baby. I can't stay out of your business because you are my boyfriend and your business is my business. No, no, no. Your business is your business. My business is my business. I can remember vividly that I begged you to work in this company, but you refused. <laughs> Why should I work? Excuse me. I'm the girl. I mean... You're the man is supposed to work and bring money home. My aim is to sit pretty and enjoy the money. Oh, please. Just say what you're here for and leave my office. Okay, I'm here. I want you to take me to lunch. Really? Yes, really, baby. You came to cause nuisance all because of lunch? Baby, you stop sounding like that. You're so handsome. <laughs> Just take me to lunch, baby. Just lunch, baby. Or whatever rubbish you called. You pushed me, I take that to be a mistake. But get one to me the next time you try that again. The next time you repeat that mistake, I swear you will regret ever knowing you that. Oh, shut up. What can you do? I mean, what can you possibly do? Well, I see you are sensible enough to pack halfway into my compound because you know I would have told my gate man to lock my gate and seize that cat on your other car. Yeah. Now listen to me and listen very good. The next time I will see you this close to my man, I will kill you. Are you threatening my life? Oh, my darling, no, no. I don't do threats. That's a promise. I have a gun. As a matter of fact, I have guns in my house. So I am going to shoot you the next time I see you close to me, man. The police must hear that. Please. Is that all you've got? Just the police? Why not the military? My friend, get out of my house. Yes, now. You know what? If you hit my car one more time, I will kill you. Tina! 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 Move now! What are you for? Tell me this is this now! Right, one tick, my mother. Officer, what's going on here? Officer, that is the girl. Wait, you called police for me? Officer, we do not have time for this delay, right? Get her arrested. Good day, madam. I greet you, officer. We are from State Criminal Investigation Department and we are here to arrest you for the offense of threat to life. Is that what she told you? Before? Yes, because that's what she told me. You said you have guns in this house and that you're going to use one of it to kill me. Today, you will provide every one of it. Bring them out. I want to see it. Like I said, this is a search warrant for us to search your house. <sighs> Officer, you searched my house. Has he gotten to that extent? Oh, we are just, please, are arrest this warrant. girl. What's me? Am I perceiving? Perceive what? Officer, search round. Go round. Get oh. back to me. They are my mic. Fast. Officer, what, 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 officer, what, what's going on? You, you, you have the nerves, the mind to call the police. Oh, shut the... up! Kaka, why would you threaten someone's life? Who is this? Wait, who is this? My friend, get lost. So we eat and drink with you. Yaga, 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 yaga. I will be. Uh, if you move. Officer. Officer, calm down. Officer, calm down. Officer, yes. officer calm down now. Eh? What is this? How did you get into this compound, officer? Eh? 
I said, do you know my sister? Eh? Do you know who you're dealing with? Eh, officer? What's all this now? Eh? Yeah. Calm down. Listen, I know, I know, I know, I know my left too. I mean, I know my right too. Uh, stop I should move now. Stop moving right now. Enter. Stop wasting my time. You are wasting my time. My madam and the brother. Just like that, arrested. Hey! No. You should see my madam and my brother need to do legal business for this house. This girl just tell and say, the police will hear this. Boom! In only three minutes. Now, my madam and my brother. Ha! Connection. Connection. If you know the connection, what give this guy more to come arrest my madam? Hey! Connect Monday. You try get connection. I get connection. What can't play with this one now? No, I'm not this house. What are you going to call now? Stop playing with this. Thank you, stars. Thank you, stars, that I was arrested alongside with you. If not, you would have the rest of your life in that police cell. Just take your stance. Because I've warned you severally to stop smoking weed. What is your benefit? Why do you smoke weed? I've warned this boy to stop smoking weed. Eh? I've warned him severally. Stop smoking weed, but he will not listen. Now look at it. But Philip. Eh? You are fucking up, oh. You are supposed to smoke outside, not inside the compound, even if you want to smoke. He's not supposed to smoke at all. What is he smoking with? I've heard you guys. I've heard you before. Please, chill. Eh? Where's your guys? Why are you using that tone on? No, who? Who are your guys? Who are your guys? Eh? Are we your age mates? Are you stupid? Are, are, are you mad? Look, 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 look at this overgrown baby. Idiot. Now listen to me and listen very good. The next time you smoke weed in my house or in my compound, in fact, in this vicinity, I will throw you out of my house. No! Oh, go ahead! That is what they always say. Throw me out! Throw me out! I'd rather you do it now. Are you, are you, huh. Do you think I'm afraid? Do you think I can't afford myself a good apartment out there? Do you? Philip, do you realize you're talking to your elder sister? What is wrong with you? Everything is wrong with me. Everything. What is it? Am I the only weed smoker in this world? Eh? Why does everything I do irritate her? Why? Listen, I don't care anymore, okay? If you want to throw me out, do so, okay? I don't care. See why they advise people against smoking weed? My brother has gone mad. He has completely lost it. That is not my brother speaking. Weed is now speaking through my brother. Did you see the way? He's challenging me. For the first time, he's challenging me. He has gone mad. Okay. Ah! Calm down. Huh? Calm down. After everything I've done for that ingrate, look at the way he's talking to me. Calm down. Right now, we should focus on that idiot. Leave Philip matter for now. Leave it first. <laughs> eh? As for that girl. As for that girl. She has touched the tail of a tigress. I'm going to... 
I'm going to crush her. I am going. Oh, Jesus. Oh, see, eh? honestly, we need to deal with her. We need to teach her a lesson before before she grow more wings. Yes, yeah, so she can she go is. ahead. She can go ahead and grow more wings. Grow more wings because I'm ready. I have all the equipment. I am ready to cut, 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 and destroy that wings. Mm -hmm. oh, oh God, I trust you. I know what you can do. Eh? We will teach her a lesson. <laughs> that's that, that idiot. Don't worry, just calm down. Well, my name is Chelsea Oshobo. I'm from Delta State. My friend here told me about this, your wonderful club. And I picked interest. So I decided to come here and let you guys know that I'm interested in joining this club. You're welcome, Chelsea. Thank you. Chelsea, you're officially welcome. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. You are late. You're fine. Bella, what is this? You're not even wearing our uniform. Excuse me, please. Can I pass? Bella. Yes? What is it? Anyways. I am dressed like this because I am not here for this, for this meeting. Yes. Okay. So what's up? Why are you here? Monique, I want to know the financial strength of this club. And I want you to render an account to each and every one of us sitting here. Yes. And hand me over my own share right now. And why would I do that? You just heard me. I am not interested in this, this league anymore. I am not. Oh, really? Yes, I'm not. And why are you all quiet? That is because we are trying to digest and understand your sudden change of mind. Um. Bella, let me ask you. Did we offend you? <laughs> I am not here for your cross-examination questions, Becky. I am not. All I'm here for is my own share of this club. Monique, please, I'm waiting. Bella, from my own understanding, every club or organization has their rules and regulations. If you want to disassociate yourself from us, you should write us officially not coming here to tell us that you need a comprehensive account and your own share given to you things are not done like that sweetheart bella gina here is right you have every right to quit from any association you are in but that should be done accordingly you know becky you just open your mouth to what to say anything without even weighing your words since I'm not done accordingly, how? Like what and what exactly are you saying? Like writing to us officially, Miss Bella. And where is it written in the constitution that I should do that? If we have any. Where? Show me. I want to know, where is it written? Um, Bella, it must not be written constitutionally. As a matter of fact, we don't have existing constitution here. But whatever we agree on here becomes our constitution. You know I don't like you one bit, Becky. I don't. I don't like you and I'm not here for you. So just shush it. Monique, I am still waiting, please. What are you saying about this? I am standing on the existing protocols. Meaning what exactly? Meaning that you have to write us officially. <laughs> you know what? I have made my point. Next month, I'm coming back here for my own share, Monique. And that's a fact. I believe you all are not deaf. 
Till next month. Excuse me. Monique, do you really have a personal issue with Bella? Guys, first off, I'm so sorry for the whole interruption, all right? This is nothing, so let's go back to our meeting. No, Monique, I disagree with you on this. I need us to talk about it. At least have an agreement before our next meeting. Well, I don't know why she will come in here and say what she just said and nobody's angry about it. I don't know. Don't blame your ass. I'm talking to you, you're walking out on me. Chukuma, lock that gate and give me the keys. Mama. Lock that gate and give me the keys now. Let me have it. Are you mad? Huh? Oga? Come on, open, open the gate. Oga? Man, I'm going to let you. Come here. Come here. Oga? Why did I tell you to open the gate? Don't do that to him. Mad. Right? Did I tell you to open the gate? No, no, no. Let him be. Let him be. Walk in. Where's the key? Walk in. Leave me alone. Leave me. Come on. Leave me alone. Leave me. Come on. Get away. Get away from here. Leave me alone. Come on. Can you stop? So you didn't hear me again. What is it? Move. Can I have the key? Give me the keys. Give it to me. Mom. Why is he? Why are you kneeling down? What up? My wife is defending me. They don't take when they're down. Give me the key. Give it to me. I you are sick in the head. You are sick. Don't you dare touch me. Hey, go back to your little post. No, ma. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, go back to your little post. Yes, ma. He needs rehab. Listen, what yes. next? You do that to this young man. You will not only have me to contend with. I will send you to a place where this your hot head will become cool. Can I have the keys? The keys. No, come and come and kill me across it from me. Can you? Candy, you were sick. Your hand is licking. You were sick. You were so sick in the head. Candy, candy. Mom, inside. Inside now. Think about your life, idiot. You think you're a baby? Come here. What did I tell you about the key? Okay. Okay. What did I tell you about the key? Okay, sorry. Huh? Okay, sorry. What did I tell you about the key? You locked it. Okay. Monique, Bella's attitude here during her presentation shows that she's not happy with you. Yes. We have our differences, but I don't care. If she wants to quit from the ladies' league, let her get out. But it has to be done official, else there will be no share for her. I think you should be very careful. Yes. If giving her her own share will make her distance herself from you, then I, I advise you do so. Yes. Because the character she just displayed here, it explains a lot. I am not worried about Bella. There is nothing to be worried about. Bella knows me too well. Whatever she wants, any way she wants to bring it on, I will give it to her twice. There is nothing to be bothered about. Monique, what actually happened between you both? There is something about that girl. I, I can't even explain it. I don't, I don't even know how she... Does it? She always have a way of making my position in the office look so irrelevant. How? Chelsea, she... There are things meant for me to do in the office that she always do. I don't know why. I've tried to confront her, but she's not making any sense. She's just so annoying. 
<laughs> Are you sure she's not doing all this for the MD to notice her? Oh, wow. Okay. That's where she got it all wrong. Because first off, she's not even his type. And MD is mine and mine alone. And now somebody is sounding jealous. Not jealous. I'm just being protective of mine. What if he likes her? What? Like what? He likes her. Please. <laughs> Never. Like I said, she's not his type. He doesn't like her. She's not pushing herself on him. It's obvious. Okay. So that is the only differences you both have. Mm, well, yeah, with some couple of attitudes she displays, like eye service, mm. pop nosing. She has that. Mm -hmm. She has it. I've seen it now. Eye service. Thank God you've seen so. I've also seen that she's interested in MD. MD is for me and for me alone. MD cannot have his eyes on that girl. He actually told me he's interested in Bella. Who told you? MD. Probably he didn't hear her. I'm joking! I'm I know joking. you are! Please, I'm joking! <laughs> oh, please, no competition, please. Okay. Do not even come. Sophia! Philip, Philip. Look at you. <laughs> ah, on How, are How are you doing? Now? I'm good. Is your sister in? Yeah, she, she, she's inside. She's inside. Alright, hmm. you, you're going out, Abby? Yes, now, normal level. Bad now. What guy! Hi! Eh? <laughs> right. Yeah, Gina, you called me. Yes, I did. I want to know why you acted the way you acted earlier. What came over you? I don't think I need anyone's permission to act the way I want to act. Eh? I do everything I want to do as it pleases me. So why should I seek for permission? There are no two ways about it. But I am your friend, Bella. I do not want you to discourage me, Gina. That was why I did what I did. Okay? Do you think you did the right thing? <laughs> of course. I did the right thing and I was so pleased I did what I did. So are you going to write the official letter to us as you were instructed? I beg your pardon? Official letter to who? To Monique? over my dead body. I will not do such a thing that I, Bella, should stoop so low to write that to who, Monique? Damn her. She should go to hell for all I care. I will not do it. Bella, I am your friend. Gina, please. If you have called me here to tell me, Bella, to write letter to Monique, babe, I am going to disappoint you. I'm sorry. I will not do that. Hold on. You have to be fast, please. I'm going somewhere. Bella, 
Monique, you are not just writing to Monique. Neither are you writing to me. But to everyone, every single member of the Ladies League in general. You know, Gina, you seem to amaze me most times when you talk. In general, Ladies League. Who do you think is the Ladies League? Let me ask you something. Who is your chair lady? Monique. Who is your treasurer? Monique. Whose house do we have meetings every freaking month? Monique. Who gives the orders? Monique. She does everything she wants to do in that meeting. And we obey her. And you're saying in general women's league or you say ladies league. Babe, she is the ladies league in general. She is everything. And I, Bella, I will not stoop so low to write an official letter to that girl called Monique. I will not do that. I'm waiting for next month, like I said, to get my money. They will hand over my money to me next month, like I told you guys. And I'm very serious about it. Do you understand? So how do you intend to go about that? Babe, watch me next month. Next month, I'll have my money. And that's a fact. Hey babes, I'm ready. Oh baby, ah, you're looking ten over ten out of ten. Say that again. Sexy and classy. Oh shit. Let's go. Ah, ah. Sexy girl. You can say that. Beautiful girl. Oh shit, my dance. <laughs> Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Can you see the way that guy was just looking? I said, wait, 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 wait. I saw something. What is that? That's Monique's car. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Reverse, but, she's, but she's not inside the car. I don't know. Let's let's just that's that's her car. I'm very certain. I'm sure that's her car. That's her number plate. Just ah, end it. yes, it's her car. Yes. yes. Hey, that's her number plate. Let's go ahead. Sure. Just pack, block her, pack behind you. Just mm -hmm. block her. Yes. Yes. Good. man to stay away from me and for your own good do not ever stop me or approach me on the road ever again else what i will call the police on you again <laughs> look at this that sweetheart i don't do police i take care of my target myself i will kill you it's not a threat i will kill you stay away from my man Go and take care of yourself. Stay away from it. Go and take care of I'll yourself. You. Babes, let's go. You better stay away from a man or you boy rabbits. Rubbish. Mama, they call it Thank God it's Friday. Every Friday night, my wife will leave my house, my home, and she will not come back that day. It was Mama. Huh? Okay. 
Chineke Mo. You mean your wife doesn't sleep at home every Friday? At all, Mama. I have tried to apply caution, Mama. Instead, ah. she picked up Kore. My God. My son. Some men are weakly. Mm. Mm. You mean your wife doesn't sleep at home every Friday? And you had the guts to come here to report that to me? Mm -hmm. Hi! No. Should I beat her? Uh -uh. You must not beat a woman to obey you. Eh? Let me tell you. Men of these days don't know how to handle their women. During the time of my husband, <laughs> whenever my husband gives an order, hmm, nobody, I repeat, nobody goes contrary to it. Men of this, they don't even know how to handle their women. They make them behave the way they are behaving. Mm, Mama, uh, what you are saying is not, it's not wrong. But please don't be offended. What would you have me do? Should I beat her or send her back to you? Hmm. A man must not beat a woman to obey. You said that before. Hmm? Let me educate you a little. Men of these days have forgotten our tradition because of Western tradition. Eh? Because of that, we have a lot of broken homes. African tradition brings us together. But Western tradition puts us apart, my son. Eh? A woman you married doesn't even have respect for you as a husband. Hey, I got up on it again. Eh? Hmm. Mama, uh, uh, you see, Mama, what you just said now is a fact. We have neglected our cultural background. We left our own African ways of life. We now embrace the Western culture, and this thing is eating deep into us. Don't worry, my son. Hmm? I will call her. I will send for her, okay? And I will talk to her. But remember, you are the man of the house. If you cannot control your home, nobody will do it for you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That your wife is the breadwinner of the family. It's not enough reason for her to be doing what she is doing. Eh? After all, marriage is for better, for worse. More than more, more than job. Marriage is marriage. Mama, you have enlightened my body. Thank you very much for this advice. Mama, once again, I really appreciate this. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. You are welcome, my son. Uh -huh. How about my granddaughter? <laughs> <laughs> that one? <laughs> yes. Mama, she's there. She's there. Mm. Mm. What can I say? You see now, my <laughs> son, that is one of the examples of what I am talking about. Your daughter doesn't even know how to speak her mother's language, hey. but mm. Western one. Have you seen a white person speaking Igbo? Mbano. No, it's rare, Mama. It's rare. <laughs> I'm not condemning English, oh. I'm not condemning English language. I know. But your mother's language should be the first thing your daughter should learn. Keep it in mind. I will, Mama. Mama, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Mama. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. I really appreciate this whole truth for thoughts. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> I appreciate it, Mama. Thank you. Mama. You're welcome. <laughs> Bella. Graf. Yeah. What's up? You didn't go out for lunch? No. Why? You know you're always economizing. Tell me. Why? Oh, you're not hungry? No, I'm not hungry. If I'm hungry, I'll eat. Sure. 
Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? You eating? I had some snacks and I'm fine. Alright. Alright. Nah. Man, this country can never be structured anymore. Huh. Why did you say that? Can you imagine what a senator of this country said? Come and see. Come and see. Take a look. <clears throat> this is our country will never change. It can never. Huh. Raf, don't tell me this is what's keeping you from going to lunch. Not really. I'm good. When I'm hungry, I will eat. Are you sure? I'm fine. Because I know you. <laughs> You're always economizing. No. I'm good. It's alright. Take care. Mama, you called and asked me to come home. That is why I'm here. Yes, your husband was here. I'm sure you are aware of it, right? I wasn't aware, not until you called me. <laughs> your husband came here, complaining bitterly about your present life. Is it true that you go out every Friday night and return on Saturday morning? Is that true? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. I go out every Friday. But not just going out. There is this get-together that my company holds every Friday night. It is called Thank God It's Friday. And every staff, when I mean every staff, both female and male of that company is required to be present at the party. So I'm not just going to somewhere else or somewhere not important. What did you tell him when he kicked against it? I told him that I can't stop going to the because that is where I earn money from. Mm. And I don't want to lose my job. Mm -hmm. My daughter, he is your husband. Your husband has the right to stop you from working in that company. He has the right over you. He paid your bread price. Ask them what you go on. So it is your duty. To obey. <laughs> Mama, you the one saying this. Uh -uh. I am surprised, honestly. He should take his responsibility as a man. But no. For over a year now, all the responsibilities has been on me. I have been the one taking care of our home. I put food on our table. I pay for Jenny's school fees. I cater for everything. And because my husband is not in support of the get-together that my company holds every Friday, I should stop going and quit my job, the place I get the money I feed him with. Mama, what are you saying? My daughter, if quitting your job will bring peace in your home, then do it. My daughter, during the days of your father and me, I have never, never had an argument with him. Whatever he says is final. Yes. Even the ones you are not comfortable with. <laughs> your father was a good man. He do everything for me. 
and he never intentionally hurt me. And for that reason, I respected him to the core. That was why I never disobeyed his words or whatever he says. Like you said, he did everything for you. But when it comes to my husband, it's the other way around. I am the one doing everything for him. Besides, <laughs> gone are those days when women just respect men, anything they say you do. Gone are those days, we are in the 21st century. Shhh, That was exactly what I told your husband. <sighs> Western tradition is the cause of all the failed marriages in African countries as of today. Yes, you people would rather prefer white wedding than traditional marriage. Come to think of it, the last time I visited you people, Jenny, my granddaughter, I was asking her, Jenny, can you call Papa gay man? <laughs> Do you know what she said? <laughs> Grandma, I don't understand Igbo language. Can you imagine? My own granddaughter don't understand Igbo language because you prefer Western life. Hmm. Have you seen any white children speaking Igbo language? Have you seen? Check. Have you seen? No is the answer. Hmm. My daughter. Men your ways. Your family should be your number one. Your family should be your priority. Nothing else. In other words, I should quit my job. Uh, before uncle, before uncle, quit the job. If quitting the job is the only thing that can give you peace. Quit it and look for another job. Mama, what are you saying? There is no job. Look for quick job. Is there a job that you kept for me out there? I am even lucky to have this one. Do you know how long it took me to be employed into that company? Please, please don't say it again. Please. You are not God. God has a way of doing things. Remember. Like I said before, you are family first. What did I say? You are family first. It should be your number one priority. You are not God that gives job. I've heard you. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> do you know that I thought those girls were going to fight in the office today? <laughs> <laughs> Bella would have dealt with Becky. Huh? I am sure of that, yeah. Hey, Bella Ralph! Becky is lucky. It seems you don't know who Becky is. <laughs> that girl, I buy out. She can fight! I swear! <laughs> ha! Not be the same company all of us day. See, I know Bella very, very well, and I know what she's capable of doing. The thing is that she cannot fight at work, that's why. If not, eh? <laughs> Becky is lucky. See, you know. Sometimes I wonder, all these things that happen in our office, is our boss not aware? <laughs> <laughs> our boss. I beg, leave that one. That old lingo man. Hmm? <laughs> Complain he took after his father's death. And all he could do is jumping from one woman to another, gallivanting with them, living all sorts of rubbish life. Come on. Who does that? What do you expect from someone that's school abroad? That guy is already used to Western world. <laughs> and their lifestyle. Someone that's school abroad. Wait, oh, wait. Is he the first person that have schooled in abroad, or is, is he the only person? I don't understand. <laughs> I beg, leave that thing, Joe. But there, uh, that man, that man is still trying. You know? <laughs> He's trying. It's just that his lifestyle is different from our own. Honestly that's speaking, it. that guy's lifestyle is all about Western world. Western lifestyle, you know, clubbing, all these things. Ah! But I, but, I, but I like him, though. I like him. See, why you no go like him? Why, tell me why you no go like him. Golin, go man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. You like Golin, I know. Now why you, you see, like him? You see that? 
thank God it's Friday. That word, uh, as weekend in here like this, eh? Oh God, who's he? Na clubbing, na volley. That man, they try you. Seriously, Oga, they try. Hey. See, Oga, Oga, Oga is trying. Hey. If only that Friday, every Friday, yeah, enjoy Friday, me. Every Friday, we we'll enjoy. Volley, uh -huh. clubbing. Oh, oh, that one makes sense. If we all, all these that one. girls like me, they kill themselves. That one, that one, that one that that their business. <laughs> <I see. laughs> That's their business. That's their business. Tell me, which <laughs> organ fee give you workers every day Friday, every Friday enjoyment? <laughs> ah, this one, eh? Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Once I remember, it's on a Friday, oh, wow. oh, Me wow. work for that day. Our organ like enjoyment, I swear. I swear, I, swear. I, I like that <laughs> much. I can try. You know, it's, uh, every Friday, we are, we are enjoying, you know, flexing. I got like doing it tomorrow. Friday things, so. <laughs> My name is Kaka. What do you want? And how did you get my number? That's not necessary. Listen. Your cousin Monique is trading on a dangerous path. How do you mean? Tell her to stay away from my man. Your man? Stay away from your man? Yes. And who is this your man? Ask her. She will explain better. Uh. Is that all? Yes. Unless she wants to see the other side of me. Mm. Well, I've heard you. But please do not call this number again. Please! Rubbish. Did she just hang the call on me? <sighs> These people, they don't know what I'm capable of. Monique, did you drop the file here? Can you just shut your mouth and help me out? Stop asking silly questions. Oh, please. I am not the one that misplaced the file, so mind your utterances. What's Good. It? Help me, please. Gina, it's okay. You talk too much. Ah. Who called my name? Apropos master. Don't ever try it again. Listen, this should be your last time of mentioning my name unnecessarily. Are you mad? Do you think I'm Becky? No, try him again. No, if I face you, eh, your spirit will leave your body. Hey! Rubbish. Nice. Okay. Hey! Monique, the fire is not here. Where could it be? 